what did I do? I went on the streets. Hey guys, welcome back again to yet another very interesting episode. This is the first time coming across our page. You are highly welcome. In today's edition is about Coral Biddy and Justin Dean. Yes, this problem of between Cora and Justin has lingered more than we ever expected. It's almost spanning to three years and they're still talking as if to say the thing happened now. You just heard what Cora said about how she entered the street, right? I will allow you guys to watch this video to the end, then come back. Let us analyze. Let us do a deep analysis on what she just said. I found out I was um, pregnant. I was peeing and Mr. Coral Billy was like, you are pregnant. I said, eh? how? Your pee smells like pregnancy. I'm like, ah, Mr. Coral Billy, they try you. <laughs> anyway, we did the test and turned out I was pregnant. We were living in Mr. Coral Billy's office. Yes, we were living in his office. It was until... I found out that I was pregnant. I said, oh my God, what am I gonna do? June is in my belly. June is in my belly. Uh, we had no money. I had to make money one way or the other. I was going out making dance videos for artists. That wasn't cutting the deal. Artists don't wanna pay more than 500K in Naira for a dance video. What you're left with is some money in naira that when you convert to dollars is really nothing and you have a child we were having a child coming my belly was growing 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 at by the day but you know i was like this you know i was three months pregnant like you didn't even know that i was pregnant but i was pregnant <sighs> mr corabidi uh didn't have the money for the baby <sighs> Mr. Corabidi uh, didn't have the money for the baby. So I went on the streets. First things first about the streets. I need. Nobody send your papa for the streets. First, how did I get on the streets in the first place? I saw my Nigerian sister. I will not say her name, but she saved my life. I saw her. I said, hey, my queen, uh, tell me now. Show me the way now. Show me the way. How you they take make money now? Hey, you're just enjoying. You're just living life every day. You're making music videos. You're doing things. How are you doing it? She said, if I tell you this work, you know, go feed Duomo in translation. It's a lot of work. You're not gonna be able to do this job that I'm telling you. The baby in my belly, I was desperate. I said I would clean up because I need to give birth to my baby. And the doctor had already told us that it was five thousand four hundred dollars. Oh my God, Charlene Williams! I... Thank you for fifty-five super thanks in pounds. Ah, uh, Mina Sanja. No, no, is it pounds or euro? This one is euro, euro, euro. Sorry. Mm. I like I like euro and pounds. It's better than dollars because euro, when it hits the, it will go up. Ah. Anyway, back to my story. What do we do on the streets? We take pictures with people for tips and donations. Meow. We do this for tips and donations. Meow. You know, I used to roll with Batman, Spider Man, Green Lantern, uh, another cat woman that didn't like me because I was Catwoman. She was Catwoman. She was like, hell no. You gotta go. So she hated me. <laughs> and there's the street lingo. Now the rules of the street. As soon as you approach a person, you immediately start to distract them and be extra animated. Meow. You wanna take a photo? You can take a photo. Come on. Up. No, I don't wanna take... But if you block the away with your big nash and you say, I wanna take a photo with you. Come on, I'll take a photo. Oh, we do this for tips and donations. Once they reach out into their pockets to give you a tip, you suggest a tip. Hi, you can give us 20, we'll all share. So the person who was going to give you $1 will end up giving you $20. And if you're four of you, you will share and you all have five, 
as opposed to someone who was going to tip you one dollar this is how we coy people into giving us tips and donations my question to you that is supporting either justin dean or coral bd is this listen when Cora and Justin Dean met in China, he saw Justin Dean and he, he li she liked Justin. And Justin liked her in return, right? Nobody forced her to like Justin Dean. She decided, right? And you know this man is not made. There's a difference between you married a made man. When I mean made, he has everything. He has his house, has his cars, and there about. Know that you're coming to enjoy. Yes, you're enjoying, but there's, there might still be other problems. But this person you started dating, you know him, you saw him from head to toe. Like, I like him, he's from America. It can be a means I can, uh, what's it called, um, eliminate poverty in my family or thereabout. That's the reason best known to you. But coming out to tell us that you suffered this one, this one, you went to the street, you moved to the street to do this, to do that. Are you the only one that was in the street? Was just in folding hands and watching you go to the street? You guys slept in the office and this and that. For me, I think Cora is being manipulative in this area. She's always seeking for public sympathy. It is a no-no. There's a difference between this man is made and he allowed you to suffer. It's a different case. But this particular person is not made. Like, he's not made. He's still building his life. You liked him. You're not the only person that a man will impregnant and you end up marrying the person. If a man impregnates you and you don't want to marry the person, you can still say and tell your parents, no, I don't want. I don't feel that this man can take care of me. The same thing goes to a man. This is being manipulative, guys. I would like you guys to watch the video till the end. Share your own opinion or your thoughts in the comment section. We will appreciate. Guys, before we wrap it up, remember to subscribe, like, and share our posts. We love you.